Please subscribe to this channel for more videos related to Catholic Christian teaching. The Sacrament of Holy Orders confers sanctifying grace on the recipient. As a sacrament of the living, the Sacrament of Holy Orders effects per se an increase of sanctifying grace. The grace of Holy Orders has the purpose of and is specially adapted to enabling the recipient worthily to perform the functions of his order and to lead a worthy life. The Decretum Pro Armenis teaches with St. Thomas. The effect of the Sacrament of Holy Orders is an increase of grace so that one may be a suitable minister. Pius XI teaches by the Sacrament of Holy Orders the priest receives also a new and special grace and a particular help by means of which he can cope in a worthy fashion and with unfailing courage with the high obligations of the office he has assumed and fulfill the duties thereof. The biblical foundation is to be found in St. Paul's first and second letters to Timothy. Do not neglect the gift that is in you, which was given to you through prophecy with the laying on of hands by the council of elders. For this reason I remind you to rekindle the gift of God that is within you through the laying on of my hands. In addition to the special sanctifying grace, the ordinant receives the permanent claim to those actual graces which are necessary for the attaining of the purpose of the sacrament. There are five sacraments of the living from the seven sacraments of the church. They are those sacraments which Christians can receive only while in the state of grace. They are classified as such because their chief purpose is to give more grace to the souls already spiritually alive through sanctifying grace. These sacraments are the sacraments of Confirmation, the Eucharist, the Holy Orders, the Anointing of the Sick, and Matrimony. Anointing of the Sick is generally regarded as a sacrament of the living because it should be received in a state of grace. But in some situations, it operates as a sacrament of the dead. Baptism and penance are called sacraments of the dead because they give life through sanctifying grace to those who are spiritually dead by reason of original or personal sin. The Sacrament of Holy Orders imprints a character on the recipient. The Council of Trent defined, If anyone says that by sacred ordination no character is imprinted, let him be anathema. The Sacrament of Holy Orders cannot be repeated, nor can one who has received it revert to the lay state. The reason is found in the character. The character of an order 
enables the possessor to take an active part in Christian worship, and as this flows from Christ's priesthood, to take an active part in Christ's priesthood. As a sign that configures, it assimilates the possessor to Christ, the eternal high priest. As a sign that distinguishes, it distinguishes the consecrated man from the layman and from the possessors of non-hierarchical grades of holy orders. As a sign that disposes, it disposes, that is, enables and entitles him to exercise the hierarchical powers of the orders in question. As a sign with an obligation, it obliges him to dispense the saving treasures of Christ and to lead a morally pure life. As the sacrament of holy orders falls into three grades, it must be assumed that in each of the three sacramental grades of holy orders, a special character which is distinct from the others is imprinted. As an active participation in Christ's priesthood, the character of an order transcends the baptismal character, which is necessarily presupposes, and the character of confirmation, which is appropriately presupposes. The Sacrament of Holy Orders confers a permanent spiritual power on the recipient. In the sacramental character are rooted those spiritual powers which are transferred to the ordinant in the individual grades of Holy Orders. The deacon receives the power of of immediately serving the bishop and the priest at the offering of the Eucharistic sacrifice and of dispensing Holy Communion. The priest principally receives the power of consecration and of absolution, and the bishop the power of ordination. Please go to YouTube Retirementality channel playlist Sacraments for the complete series of these materials.